All right. Now, all of a sudden, we're going to jump a whole many years, 10 to the 6th years, a half a million years. We get further expansion and cooling. The electrons bind to the protons to make the hydrogen molecules. So now we're making lots of hydrogen. They call this the recombination era. And then at the end of this period, matter and uh, energy, or photons, photons is, remember, a piece of light. They go their separate ways. So no longer is there this intermingling, matter turns into energy, energy turns into mass. It is now all just matter or energy, like we, we experience it today. All right, now, considering the ages of these galaxies, when do the galaxies start forming? Well, it had to be because we can look at the galaxies and say, well, they're X number of years old. They had to begin quite quickly. So in the next era, if you will, we're kind of going through each stage, um, uh, 10 to the 9th to 10 to the 10th years, we start getting galaxies. They're going to call these proto-galaxies um, because now the gases begin to collapse. We get the, the circular motion going on, and all of a sudden stars start to form, etc. Okay? But um, gravity is too feeble to create galaxies in the time scales needed. So gravity is not strong enough for it to happen. So we need something else. Well, we need the dark matter. Remember, we watched the big video on the dark matter. So the dark matter needs to speed these things up. So the dark matter has to play a role. And it forms clumps around which the uh, proto-galaxies form. So there's got to be some dark matter around here. Remember the picture in that last, or in that uh, previous podcast, all right? So areas rich in dark matter um, help the galaxy chains and sheets um, and that's how we get the voids. Remember how we talked about the voids in the, a couple of podcasts ago, the voids in the space and non-voids, okay? Um, but this is a big question. They still don't quite understand how the galaxies formed. It's the mystery that is still considered unsolved. So how did the galaxies actually form? Hmm. We don't know. You understand? If you get the answer, you win Nobel Prize, okay? All right. So here is, if you will, the picture. This is the picture that you should have sketched in your notes. If not, you may want to print this. It might be easier. So the idea here is that this is the this is the question mark. Where did this come from? And then at 10 to the minus 33 seconds, we get inflation. That's where the bang happens, right? And then the protons and neutrons form. These are the series of steps. This will probably be a great test question. Put them in order. Electrons and positrons annihilate. Then we get hydrogen, turns into helium. We get recombination. We get the first stars and the galaxies form. The solar system forms. And then, oh wait, what happens here? All right, we're like here right now. This is where we're at. Background radiation of three Kelvin. This is the temperature of the universe the background temperature, and they believe right now it's 3 Kelvin, and eventually it's going to get colder. Fuel runs out, dark stars in the galaxies, and what's going to happen to the universe? Yeah, it's going to die. Yeah, it's going to, yeah, it's going to be like, wow. So they think at 10 to the 14th years, we're, they think at 10 to the 10th years right now, so it's still pretty far out. But, um, you know, as a note here, if you look at this scale, 10 to the minus 33 seconds, 10 to the minus 6 seconds, 1 second, 3 minutes, these are not um, in... Um, uh, in a linear curve. It's exponential. And so there's a lot of time between here and here, and a lot of time between here and here. But the universe is cooling, and as it continues to cool, then the fuel's going to run out. Eventually it's going to die. There are some ideas, and we're not going to talk about it, about the possibility that it could retract, or will it continue to expand forever? If it does, it eventually will just die. And so, um, yeah. So this is kind of a, a brief, brief, there's so much more to this topic, and we're not going to go into it. Um, history of the universe, of the uh, idea of where the Big Bang started, where it came from, where it, how it started, not really how it started, we don't know that, but what happened in the progression of the atoms as they went from step to step to step uh, and became the universe that it is today, and then also what's going to happen in the future. So not necessarily a hugely positive idea because, of course, the universe is going to burn up and die. Um, but it's a long, long times away. So I wouldn't necessarily worry about that. Um, so, um, yeah, that's the last podcast of the semester. How cool is that? Um, we'll do some more stuff um, in our next semester, or I might do the second semester next year. I don't know. And I probably will keep the same podcast, but it still is the last podcast of the semester. I hope you have enjoyed and learned some very amazing things about our incredible universe. So signing off, this is Mr. Bergman. Goodbye.